Okay, I'm making another odd thing, but I'm trying to find things that are good for travel. So this is gonna be carnivore beef butter cups. <laughs> and I saw these on a YouTube video. I think one of you guys sent it to me to try. So I'm gonna try it out. You take a pound of butt of beef, ground beef, and um, a stick of butter, and then you bake it at 400 or roast it, I guess, and with some salt. And then you take it, oil and grease and everything and all, and pour it into cups, like little silicone cups, and then you put it in the freezer, and then you've got travel easy foods. So Amanda and Jason are gonna start carnivore, and Jason works construction, and he's on the road all day long. It's not gonna be easy for him to just, you know, get up at 4 a.m. and have a steak, you know? He's getting on the road. So I'm experimenting with like that, um, I did a jar omelet. That's a quick one, it can be taken. Um, I've seen a lot of people love just making burger patties and having cold burger patties in the fridge and they smear butter on them and have like room temperature butter. Steve's flossing back there because we just ate a steak. No, it's funny. You and Elvis. Anyway, we're, um, so those are good to travel. And then I thought these, I think one of you guys sent this recipe to me about the beef butter, not bites, but cups. So um, let's see what happens. I'm doing it in my Instant Pot, which actually it's not an Instant Pot. I've got a, a Ninja Air Fryer, which is air fryer, um, slow cooker, roast, bake, all those things all in one. My dog is fetching with her pink pig. So let's see how it goes. I took the ground beef and just spread it out on the bottom. Just a whole stick of butter. And then putting this on, I think it was the bake at 400. And then um, it might've been 20 minutes, but I guess this is gonna make them really crispy. I'll have to see how long it is. I'll put it for 20 right now and I'll let you guys know. Um, but I need to come over here at some point and, you know, break it up and make sure it gets really crispy. Uh, apparently my, I just am immune to my beeper. So 10 minutes, 10 minutes is way past. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's, it has a lot of oil in there. Oh my goodness. It's gotten crispy, which is cool, but I want it more crispy because that's how it's supposed to be. So we're supposed to smash it up and then um, recook, I guess, for another 10. And then we pour it into those cups. Key is you want it crispy. We were supposed to put like a teaspoon of salt in there, by the way. And I, I did. And I salted butter. So maybe it'll be really salty. I don't know. And yes, it's supposed to be 420 minutes and do this at 10. All right. It's done in there. So next step, we're supposed to scoop evenly the... Um, meat into the cups and then pour the juice on top and then we're sticking it in the freezer all right i put it all in there and i feel like it's supposed to have more more oil in there so i stuck one little tiny butter bite on there gonna stick one of these on top it'll probably melt and then i'll stick it in the freezer next time i think i'll do um a stick of butter and maybe some tallow, a little extra, just because my beef actually was only 85, 15. So it didn't have as much fat as it should have, but I'm trying to use up all the, but all the ground beef I have in the freezer. So they're going in. Oh, it fit just, just right there. That's where my eyes are to go. That's some pork belly right there. Yum, yum. Okay, let's check them out. Those are frozen. Frozen hard as a rock. My <laughs> cute girl. Hello. You like these too? You like meat and butter? I don't think you've ever had butter. Yeah, you don't get any of this, but it does look good, huh? It looks like a dog treat. Okay, let me try to pop one out. I'll pop it out here so you can see my dog over there. She's just so cute. It does look like dog food, honey. Okay. Um, this was Ketogenic Woman that I saw this on, by the way. I don't know if it's her recipe or somebody else's, but that's the one I found. They are hard as a rock. Oh, you can't eat them though. They're soft enough to eat. I thought it was gonna like be hard, but she said you can put it in the fridge. I like these better than the brown butter bites. Mm. Just another snack, I guess. Wow, 
This is delicious. Can I give you a bite, honey? Uh, I can't really. You don't need any hands. Get it out of the freezer. You can eat them, apparently. I had no idea. Really good. These would be a perfect travel food. She said in the comments after, um, just to set them out and put them in the fridge after they've already been frozen hard. You can put them in the fridge and then they're softer and you can eat them. I like them like this. Delicious. Really good. Mmm. A plus. But he's willing to try the bite. A small bite. Is that too big? Let's take a half of that. Putty will get that. Oh, that's weird. I was thinking it was going to be... Hard? You know how a burger breaks apart? Mm-hmm. It's really good. It's good. It's real good. How much butter is in there? Is it half and half? It's a whole stick of butter plus... The... I could eat that cold easily. I know. It's great. That's really good, actually. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So... Salt in it? Yeah, there's salt. You want more? No, I'm just saying it tastes good. Okay, there we go. Another perfect little carnivore snack. Or meal. If I was still doing construction and I was on the road, I could totally eat that. Chow down on them? Cold. Because it tastes good cold. Yeah. Put it in your little lunchbox cooler. It'll thaw a little bit. Another thing that we've been liking a lot lately, just because it was there and I just came by the fridge and grabbed a snack, is eggs. Cold. Right? And I've actually been putting these with our meal instead. Like when we have leftovers, my cooker makes seven of them. And we're only eating like two now, instead of like, Steve would eat like five on his own before. But we're probably eating two now. But just putting two of these cold on your plate when they're soft done in the middle, like the yolk isn't quite completely like dry and chalky, when it's still kind of soft, they're so good. Let's go. Delicious. So these in your lunchbox with some of those, um, um, burger, what are they calling it? Burger cups? There you go. Delicious. Road trip. Road trip. It would totally make a road trip doable. Like if we had to drive to Texas to visit the kids, if we could have some snacks on hand. And I like that the burgers are frozen. If you had to go stay at a hotel, you could easily just have cold bacon, cold eggs, and those frozen things in like an ice box, you know, like a lunch box thing. It'd be perfect. Enjoy your life.